Good morning, YouTube. Uh, we are out here in Laredo, Texas. First day back to work since uh, Old Town Rigdown, since the truck show. We are out, we are at uh, Palos Garza. We're dropping off the load that we picked up in uh, Laredo, not Laredo, in Port Allen, Baton Rouge. We've parked up, we've delivered here plenty of times. Plenty of times. And so, uh, we are empty now. Just finished booking my loads for the remainder of the week. And uh, I know I said I wasn't gonna do this anymore, but I booked another uh, Ikea load. I know, I know. Shimon, last time you, you did that load, you got screwed over. I did. But this time, uh, I booked it, but it was on my terms. You know, I'll kind of explain the terms later if I remember in the video. Actually, I'll explain them now, I got time. So, with the IKEA loads, they give you two days to pick it up. Let's say for instance, Um, it shows like a Monday or a Tuesday pickup. Even though you can pick it up on Tuesday, they want you empty on that Monday. So, so then I got to sit on it for two days. But this time I was like, look, I've done plenty of these loads for y'all. Last time I got screwed over, waiting for it to cross the border and blah, 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 and such and such. So if I book this load with you guys again, I need to pick it up on that second day. That way I can get it off the truck the following day and I ain't got to sit on it. But something how God works before the wife and I left out, before I left out yesterday, the wife and I were talking. And uh, I was telling her like, hey, I got to get out of here. I got to book it. You know, we got to get our revenue up just a little bit with everything. We have some stuff coming up, y'all. Uh, I'm not going to get into as of yet. We have some fun stuff coming up. And, uh, in order to accommodate these things, I need to get my revenue up, either get my revenue up or just remain consistent with my revenue. And so a load that popped up that I could have picked up. So we're dropping this load off here in Laredo. We're going to um, New Orleans and then we're going back to Baton Rouge and picking up another one coming down to Laredo. So we're going back and forth from Laredo to, uh, to Louisiana this week. And uh, I seen a load, uh, uh, alcohol load that I've done before going up to, uh, to Louisville, Kentucky area. I've done this load before. So, uh, it's, uh, uh, what is it? It's, I think it's tequila, a load of tequila. And uh, I was gonna do it, but it was like 42,000 pounds. And I really didn't want to do it because of the weight. And then with liquor, you need a permit, which I, that's easy to get. I just didn't want to have to deal with it. And then I had a low paying 1100 going down to Atlanta. And I had to do my 34-hour uh, break in Atlanta this coming weekend. It was just going to be a lot of running. But my revenue would have been like 7500 or 7800 something like that. And so I've seen the load over the weekend. So I said, I'll wait until... Monday morning, I'll call those loads and I'll book them. And so today's Monday morning, I was about to call those loads and then an Ikea load popped up, a bunch of back and forth, and it paid 2,700. Just my revenue was already at, I think 3,300. I said, oh, well this one Ikea run will get me my 6,000 for the week, even though I'm, shoot, but I'm shooting for the star, so. You know, that would have given me a $6,000 week, my bare minimum, which I would have been okay with that, but we're trying to do above and better now because we got some stuff coming up. And uh, I said, okay, but I can have this off the truck on Saturday. And then I continue to look. And um, I see another load pop up, a uh, cabinet load uh, going down to us. Uh, to uh back to new orleans so we be able to make it all work out so uh, and, it's, and it's the same revenue that i would have done going all around the u.s so but we got it to work out so anyway 
we're empty. I'm about to get up here and um, go pick up this next load. It's only 2,700 pounds, so happy about that. You guys roll that intro, and I will catch you guys on the other side of it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at our pickup. <clears throat> We've been sitting and waiting for an hour and 14 minutes, waiting on a dock. But we are an hour, well, we were originally like an hour or two and a half hours early for our pickup. Because I have a 2 p.m. appointment. So I finished out my 10 hour break at our pickup uh, this morning, easy. They had, they, may have, they had me unloaded in like an hour, if that. Uh, so we got offloaded over there, came over here two and a half hours early. And uh, they just called me and said, hey, get into dock 17. I said, you ain't gotta tell me twice. So this load pays like 1625 or 1650, something like that. Let me see. Uh I always screenshot my loads. Just for reference, in case somebody said, no, I didn't put that on a load board. I didn't put it for that amount. So this load pays uh 1629, 251 a mile as the crow flies, which means just a straight line. But it pays $16.30 and I can have this off the truck tomorrow. <clears throat> and then this is basically going to uh, New Orleans. And then uh, we're going to uh, Port Allen, Baton Rouge. Coming right back down here to Laredo for $14.83. So just those two lo loads alone are almost $3,100. I said, yeah. For two loads back and forth shoe easy run there and then this one here that we're picking up is only 2100 pounds not 21,000 2100 2000 pounds so we'll pick this up haul butt down to uh new orleans we should get down there in one shot i think i can park on location i'll double check here again Drop this off. And then we got some Ikea local stuff to do for the next couple of days. Which that's gonna be fun, so I'll be home for majority of this week. I mean, honestly, I could go home tonight. Now that I think about it, I don't have to go straight there. Hmm. Nah, it's okay. We'll go straight there. Because if I go home, I don't think I could shoot out to New Orleans and then shoot back home, which I should be able to, but I don't know. I might go home every day this week. I just might do that. If I can go home every day this week, and with these loads back and forth, it gets my revenue up to 7,500.
Y'all know usually my rule of thumb is that after fuel, insurance, and all that stuff, you, you'll bring home half of it. Which I should bring home more than half because I'm not burning any fuel. Just going back 200 miles back and forth from the Houston area to the Austin area. And then at the end of the week, we got our usual drop and hook cabinets that we pick up going out to uh, New Orleans. So we're just doing basically Houston and New Orleans this week. Houston, Laredo, New Orleans, just up and down I-10, back and forth. Houston, all Austin, Laredo, Baton Rouge, New Orleans. Almost somewhat back to our triangle run, but with less miles, way less miles. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and try to figure out how I can get home every day this week and still have a 75 or $7,800 a week, something like that. Here we can, ooh, God. All right. So let's do some quick math here. So we've got uh, 1630 plus 1485 plus 2745. Somebody coming. Yes, sir. All right, sorry, y'all. They were having issues finding my pickup number. So, all right. So the this load here going down to Louisiana, this load coming back, plus the 2740 something for all our IKEA stuff gets us to 5860, right under my $6,000 a week. And then we got a cabinet load that we usually pick up out of San Antonio. I can pick that up on Saturday or any time over the weekend. And that one is $1,386. A $7,200 week. Um, and we're just, we're not doing a lot of running at all. Like the Louisiana to Laredo is gonna be the longest running that we do. So, oh, that's the wife texting me now. But yeah, seventy-two hundred dollars. Well, seventy-two fifty for the week. I say divide it by two, because I'll probably bring home about half of it. So yeah, I'll be bringing home about thirty-six hundred bucks, just staying in the area, which that is perfectly good with me. Rather than running way out to Kentucky and then down to Atlanta like I originally was, with a lot more weight. But hopefully we'll be out of here soon, y'all. So let's see if they get my pickup number situated and squared away, and we will be on our way out of here. A few moments later. Y'all. Man, 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 man. My ratchet side had to come out of this place. Ratchet and a half. So I pull into the dock. You know, I've been sitting here for about a good, a solid minute waiting to get, you know, loaded. And of course they were having issues with my pickup number or whatever. So they finally got all that figured out. I feel some movement on the trailer. And then all of a sudden, you know, I don't feel anything for a while. Then the, uh, the shipping office calls me. Like, sir, will you call your dispatcher or your broker there's been a change of plans. I said, okay. So uh, right then, the agent or the broker calls me, Landstar agent, and she says, hey, what's the, what's, what is this thing I hear about with you having a, a messy, dirty trailer? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she, I was like, yeah, I said my last load, there was a bit of a spill on some of these little plastic pellets but that's about it, nothing major. I can just go back there and sweep it up, no big deal. And so she's like, well, there's no need for that. You know, they, they can't, they took you off the load. I said, they took me off the load or you took me off the load. She's like, well, either way, you know, you're off the load. I'm like, okay, so I can't just go back there and grab a broom. She's like, well, you also have nails on the floor. I said, well, yeah, I hauled some Kubotas the other day and they got a bracelet in the floor, so we did that. And, uh, but the nails, we knocked into the ground. I said, do I need to go back there with a hammer and pull the nails out? She's like, well, no, they're, they're, you're already off the load. 
So then I go back there to the warehouse crew and I'm like, yo, like what the heck? What is going on here? And they're like, oh, well, the shipping office, they, blah, 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 we're just following the orders and such and such. I said, y'all have a, I said, I have a broom, but it's small. Y'all have like a big broom I could borrow to get all the stuff out and a, maybe like a, a, a crowbar or something I can use to get the nails up. They were like, yeah, we have all that sitting right here. I said, so why can I just do use that and make this easy on everybody? Oh, well, we gotta, you gotta ask the shipping office and blah, blah, blah. So I call the shipping office. Meanwhile, he's texting the shipping office. And they're like, no, 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 you're off the load. They're sending another truck to come pick it up. Like, another truck? Like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, these are the pellets they were talking about, guys. Look, the pellets and nails they were griping about, they're still right here. Look at this. Look at this, still right here. But yeah, just these pellets on the... <sighs> Did they brace these in? Okay, they... so you're mad about nails and you use nails to brace these in. Come on, man. How is this? <sighs> so then, anyway, so then they're like, well, you gotta get, you know, you gotta ask them to take you off the load. So I go on a load board. So she's like, so this, somehow this is a Walmart related load. I don't know how. We're not going to Walmart, but it's a Walmart related load. Well, Walmart's already sending another truck. I said, how was Walmart sending a, what in the world? Just, how is Walmart sending another truck when it's not even a Walmart, it's a third party load? We don't know Walmart sending, so I call the agent back and I'm like, yo, they done took me off the load. So they're saying, oh, you took me off the load. What's going on here? Oh, well, we just told them we find another truck. So you took me off the load. I said, ma'am, all I have to do is go back there and sweep out the trailer and pull the nails up. Is that easy? Oh, well, let me call them and blah, blah, blah. So she puts me on a long hold. Meanwhile, I'm calling a shipping office, giving that lady hell. Like, you all are sitting here having all these conversations. The shipping office is talking to the warehouse. The warehouse is talking to uh, the shipping office. The shipping office is talking to the agent. So everybody's in communication, except the one person that can resolve the problem right here and there. So meanwhile, the load picked up at two o'clock. Y'all are sitting here going back and forth. It's 2.30, 3 o'clock. So it's already past the pickup time. So the one person that can solve this problem is the one person who is not in the loop. So I'm talking to, I'm standing right there talking to the warehouse crew. I'm calling the agent and the, uh, and the shipping office back and forth and talking to them. I said, y'all, y'all are making a big deal out of this. Just, all I need is a broom and a crowbar, which I have an, a hammer and some, and a, a little broom, I can knock it out. Like, it's that simple. So then I, uh, the agent calls me back and she's like, all right, you know, they said they'll go ahead and work with you on it. So then a shipping office calls back and, and meanwhile, she's telling me, uh, pull out the dock, pull out the dock. We need to put another truck in there. Lady, there's nobody else here. It's me and like, like two other trucks and two other docks, but nobody's moving around. There's no other truck on the way. The load is on the load board. Walmart's not sending a truck. My, the agent agency with Landstar is, they reposted the load. And so she's like, pull out of the dock, we need to put another, I'm like, I said, no, I said, not until I get this resolved. So I hung up on her and then I uh, called the agent back and that's when she was like, all right, they'll go ahead and blah, blah, blah. So then the shipping office calls me again and she's like, all right, go ahead and ba uh, back up into door 17 again. Uh, we went ahead and got it resolved. Just go ahead and make sure you clean out the trailer. I said, ma'am, I never left dock 17. And so I hang up with her. Uh, I climb back there to get ready to go clean the trailer out. And then the warehouse crew was like, oh, no, no, brother, don't worry about it. We'll get it. It's just a few nails. Really? Really? Oh, no, no, brother, don't worry about it. It's just a few nails. And we got a broom. We'll, we'll sweep it up. No big deal. Now, come on, man. So we've been sitting here for three hours. What time is it now? It's, all, it's going on about 2 30 now so we've been sitting here about yeah three or four hours 
about to take me off the load. So if they would have taken me off this load, I would have to cancel every load after this. Especially, I was telling you guys earlier that this week is a crucial week as far as us getting where we need to be to make some moves we want to make. And you have stupid crap like this that comes up. You know, so if they, I'm not some company driver to where I just call my dispatcher and y'all bring another truck over here. No, <laughs> this is my truck. So if I had to cancel this load, everything I booked out for the next, today is Monday, I'm booked out till next Monday. I will have to cancel everything after that. And every load that I have booked for the next uh, week are all through agents that I have connections with, the relationships with. So I gotta call them and leave a bad taste in their mouth. But got it all resolved. I have to get into it with the lady in the shipping office. But we got the load. We got the load and apparently it was no big deal. We all are sitting here having all these conversations and making these decisions and the one and only person that can resolve it with the least amount of complications is out of the loop. Y'all just sitting there calling me, telling me to go kick rocks for the most part. <laughs> but anyway, my blood pressure is finally calming down. Now let's, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't able to find a way. I mean, I could go home tonight, but I wouldn't be able to go home tomorrow night and I ain't trying to deal with the scales tomorrow morning. So we'll shoot straight there, see if I can park on site. Uh, it's first come, first serve tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. But if I go home, it'll mess up my little rhythm that I usually do. So <coughs> um, let me see what this guy wants me to, to do. <coughs> but all right, guys. Let's uh, let's get this resolved, and let's get some miles behind us. We'll inch up right here. That should be good. All right, let's roll.
We've got fuel. We've got food from old Popeyes. We are in San Antonio, Texas. I went ahead and took the loop around uh, just to get around the uh, the traffic. And uh, just got a phone call from a buddy of mine, so I might be linking up with him later. So that'll be fun. Of course, I'm taking y'all along for the ride. So y'all stay tuned so y'all can see who it is and uh, why we're linking up. dropped my food but definitely been an eventful day so we may have one more errand to to do and by the way for the ones you parked in a few hours to go get something to eat this pump is broken there is a cone behind me before you say anything because i know y'all be waiting on it all right so we're gonna got the uh the chicken sandwich and fries Ugh, hot. I don't get why. I don't get why they sell these chicken sandwiches without cheese. Like, I'm usually that guy. Hey, put some cheese on it. That's why I got some ranch in there too. Really dress this thing up. Y'all remember when the Popeye's chicken sandwich and people were literally killing for these things? But I was eating them before they were popular. And then all of a sudden, everybody and their mama wanted one. And uh, couldn't find them nowhere. All right. But let me get my sandwich situated. Really? They put pickles on here. I told them no pickles. But uh, pretty smooth drive so far. No issues. Border Patrol did want to look in my truck. And that number has jumped up. For the longest time, it was like 800 and something people whose CDLs were revoked due to being caught up at the border. And if y'all look in a time lapse, that was a truck over in the corner that was being uh, inspected hardcore by Border Patrol. Uh, it was like Cal Ark, C A L A R K was the company name. And uh, I think I was talking to Rudy at the time on the phone telling him about it he sent me a picture and they had taken that truck around back like for like where the C's parking lot was like, oh snap they found something mm. okay we're ready to go now I haven't had one of these in forever but let's roll y'all I got biscotti and froze, big boss like I'm rose, ice and windies, that's a dome, man. Low baddie, yeah, she homemade, wrap my city at the home game, up and down and go both ways, and the sprinter is taking them both lanes. Hopping, we zoom in, the package be booming, yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment, yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing, you see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure, we got it, got it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. I be on anxiety, can't mess with the toxic. Curvy little body be all on me. Keeping it spicy, you know that I got it. If she need it, just call on me. Run up the tab, we running it back. Little mama, yeah, you gon' ball on me. Ride with me, we gon' wrong, wrong. Get inside, yeah, go so on, so Hopping, we zoom in, the package be booming, yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment, yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing, you see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure, we got it, got it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. Been on a roll, we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. I dare them to try me, they know that I got it, I make it deposit. They all callin', three little baddies, they all got a fatty I call them a cabbie, they all haunted We never slack when we on the track I keep me a 
pack like Bob Marley Just give me the loot, cause we on pursuit Dressed in a suit like Steve Harvey It's really just me and my bros, ayy People be hating, ain't throwing shade Don't give them the time, say no names Cause we bought our money, play no games Stack up our bread like whole grains Still indie like no name Swag and splash, that's our old name ISO, we in our own lane Hop in, we zoom in, the package we booming Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it She picking and choosing in love with the moment Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it They cannot do what we doing They see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it Mess with the scar, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it All of my bros, we got it, got it They know for sure, we got it, got it Been on a road, we got it, got it We cannot go without it, got it Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it Been on a road, we got it, got it We cannot go without it, got it Transmission? Five speed. Five speed? Yeah. Okay. Speed. So, Push where are you speed. headed to? I don't want to disclose the information. Well, when they see this video, it'll be after your video. Right. Yeah. So, um, I'm going up to Burnett, Texas, which is three hours away from here. And uh, I was presented with an opportunity to do some loads for, for uh, a friend of a friend, and we're going to be hauling some uh, oversized. Oh, oversized. Yeah. How tall is it? 15 tall, 10 wide. And um, escorts? Or no, no, escorts. no escorts. Okay. It's actually from Laredo straight down here to Houston. We got about four this week. Four this week. One every day for, for Friday. So, okay. yeah, it's an so. opportunity that can present himself, itself. You know, I got a phone call actually earlier, just out of nowhere. And, you know, my job has been kind of slow, and I'm still transitioning to go on my own. The next couple of weeks, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna really hit it hard and try to make as much money as I can so and get experience. Right. And the truck down to be driving. Yes. But the truck that he's gonna be driving yeah. is a badass truck. Yeah. I'll say it. it badass truck. It's a bad truck. Stretched. Yeah. Tread 389. Yeah. I mean, it's everything. I mean, and you, this is a buddy's uh, truck. A buddy. Of yeah. It's no. It's his truck. Okay. But it's um. He got two trucks, right? Okay. He hauls cattle, step deck, and um, 
eight. Okay. And y'all know, you know me, I've been probably cattle hauling and everything. Right. So it's always been on my uh, my right. side. But right. again, it's an opportunity that presented itself and you know, kinda got a phone call and then last minute he got he needs to drive for the rest of the week to haul some loads for him with him. Mm -hmm. We'll be convoying basically. Okay. So and then it's Laredo to Houston, three hundred miles. Pay pays pretty good, you know. Okay. Fifteen tall, so heavy it's some big heavy, stuff it's a big boy big stuff. stuff yeah okay i mean i've done um you know you saw a long time ago in the oklahoma city run it was like 16 uh, tall mm -hmm. right know, container all it. right we'll see okay yeah <coughs> all right guys i gotta drive this baby out there park her out there and then jump in his truck and haul ass to laredo nice so I'll probably see you tomorrow on my way back down yes. to Laredo. So. If you see me tomorrow on my way back, please. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm going to get some footage of it for footage sure. Footage and we'll drive and we'll convoy back to Laredo. Right. You're going to Laredo tomorrow, ain't you? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going up there. I'll be going down there too. And yeah, we can definitely mm -hmm. get down there together. Okay. That truck is like, you got to see it in person. Okay. Yeah, you got to see right. it in person. So anyways. All right, guys. I'm going to get back on this interstate. I'm gonna go westbound. I'm a, you're gonna go where? Eastbound. Eastbound. Are you going home? Or are you going to Orleans? I don't know yet. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm figure it out. Get on here. And then Rudy's right behind me. I gotta oh, yeah, jump on his interstate so he don't catch up to me. Yeah, Rudy's stuck in that traffic though. He probably got <laughs> up on the, on yeah, the, he, the shoulder. He, he did what you didn't do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But all right, guys. I'm gonna get back on this road. I'm gonna end it here. It's been a long enough video. Put some more miles in. I might go home. I might try to shoot all the way there. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But uh, but you you're going out to work. So yo, and I'll be up. We've been up with this morning time. I've been up yeah. at 3 o'clock this morning. Oh, dang. Don't, almost, tell, don't tell them that. 3 o'clock this morning, going to go haul oversized, sir? I mean, hey. So. It is. Yeah, okay. and hopefully we won't get robbed here, so. Yeah, we got to go, man. Yeah, all right. We, we will catch you on the next one. Thank you all for watching. My name is Shimon Spencer. Your name is 18 Wheels. 18 Wheels, check me out. It's all written now. 18 Wheels, E-I-G-H-T-E-N, Wheels. No longer with a number. It's just someone else got it anyways. Yeah. So your out. views have shot up, sir. Yes. I might have competition, and actually. And because, you know, I'm transitioning to be an owner-operator back again. Plus, it's heavy. This this oversized load you're about to do is going to be some content. It's going to be some content, sir. Yeah. The truck itself and the, slide, the load I'm going to yeah, do. Yeah, that thumbnail is about to be. Woo! Yeah. So, y'all check it out. Y'all stay tuned. Check out Grinding Use videos, my videos. We got some good stuff coming. Yep. Uh, I think you got some big plans coming up too, huh? We do. Yeah. We do. I can't say that can't yet. Say nothing, I can't say nothing. Yet. Be... Yeah. I'm yeah. So. All right, guys. We will catch you on the next episode. I will see you guys at noon Central Standard Time tomorrow. tomorrow. Peace.